interviewing a medical doctor and PhD student at Columbia University named Dr. Petzl, who has some good news for you. A vaccine to certain types of cancer may be possible. So, uh, what's your name? My name is Pedro. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Portugal, right across the Atlantic. And I've been here at Columbia University since August of last year. Well, a dissertation is a text, a written document, where you write and present the findings of your studies during your PhD. And what is a PhD? A PhD is a, a time in your life, usually after college or after a, an undergraduate or a master's degree, where you take time to study a subject or a discipline that you are very, very passionate about. And um, PhD is usually a long road, but it's fueled by your, your passion for the subject. In my case, I, was, um, I did medical school in Portugal. I finished medical school there, but uh, I realized that I also wanted to dedicate myself to learning more about human biology and so I decided to do a PhD where you can solely focus on the question that you are interested about. That's it. So, that's extremely cool. Uh, Thank you. Being a medical doctor, I've heard is kind of hard, but still, uh, if you are passionate about something, like he said, uh, you can be passionate about any subject, you can go and pursue it in terms of a PhD. And uh, not only does it take a lot of hard work, uh, but at the end, you'll look like a professional, so it's worth it. Well, it's that that's one reason for sure. And then also because you can you can discover something. Yep. During your studies, you it's not, it's not always the case, but you might have the opportunity to be the first and the only person to observe something. And in the broader picture, you can contribute to the advance, advancement of our common knowledge of humanity. Each, each one of us can contribute a little bit, uh, which is called an increment. You, you do your little increment to science. And then in the end, we all as a society know more because of your studies or my studies or the studies of everyone who is. So I don't believe making a vaccine for cancer is possible because it's really based on a random genetic mutation that causes one of your cells to suck up nutrients from the rest and invade other cells. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people who are uninformed on medicine probably want to know, is there some sort of vaccine or some other kind of substance that can lower the chances of people getting cancer? That's a very interesting question. And I'll tell you right now that the company that developed the vaccine for COVID, BioNTech, before they ever did a vaccine for, for COVID, for the SARS-CoV-2 virus, they were actually doing a vaccine for melanoma, which is a cancer from your skin. And this vaccine is based on the fact that you can introduce a molecule that will basically substitute a protein that is lacking, it is possible to develop a vaccine for cancer based on a few things that are currently going on in science. And one company, BioNTech, who developed the vaccine for COVID, was already developing a vaccine for melanoma. And they have studies underway. You know why? All right, now off the, off the, off the, the interview so that I can explain to you a little bit. Because mutations in cancer make these specific proteins, which are called neoepitopes. So neoepitopes are little parts of protein that are specific to cancer cells. They have, as you said very well, genetic mutations. What are mutations? Are changes to their DNA, to their genetic conformation, which will, in turn, alter their behavior, the way they interact with the other cells around them, and unfortunately, for solid cancers, it will take over the rest of the body sometimes. 
So imagine that you could have a vaccine that is made out of these antibodies that would specifically bind to the proteins in the cancer cells and lead them to die. Wouldn't that be cool? And that's the that's one of the of the bases for these cancer mRNA vaccines that as again were have been studied for almost maybe a decade now and then when COVID came up uh, these companies including BioNTech they just shifted I like to say in English they pivoted for COVID but in fact they were doing their trials in melanoma patients or so patients with a skin cancer what do you think about that that's extremely interesting i thought there was no way to actually make some sort of vaccine for cancer mm -hmm. but that's kind of eye-opening for a lot of people and i hope that some person can discover this kind of thing in the future uh it's probably going to be an organization because no person on their own can completely do this kind of thing but i feel that we're somewhat close to doing it maybe possibly that's very true and if I would like to say one thing now that you've given the opportunity to be in your channel is that science is a large collaborative effort of many people coming together with a purpose and a goal and uh, you, if you want to do science you need to be able to reach out to other people learn from them uh, study with them and um, it's always best to have many opinions rather than one. It always makes the science better. Of course, many opinions rather than one validate something. Exactly, that's a great point that you're making there. So thank you for this. It gave me a lot of insights into the life of an advanced student. Thank so you very good, much. Good luck on your PhD journey and good luck on your medical